Welcome back to another Google AdMob tutorial. Today, I'll be taking you through an important feature called ad mediation. Here's what we'll cover in this video. First, we'll share an overview of AdMob mediation and its value. Then, we'll show you how it works and how it's helped developers like you successfully monetize their apps. The value of mediation is that it can help you earn more revenue from your app by making it easy to work with multiple ad networks. It helps you maximize your fill rate and CPMs by choosing the best performing ad partners from over 100 networks around the world. It can also help you simplify your operations by letting you manage all of the ad sources that serve ads to your apps in one place. If you're spending a lot of time on setting up and managing multiple networks, mediation can help you save time with automated features like real-time CPM, ad network optimization, or ANO for short, or mediation groups that can help scale your setup. You can learn more about these features in our next mediation video in the description below. Here's how it works. Using mediation, your app can send ad requests to multiple ad sources and show an ad from the highest paying one. When evaluating different mediation platforms, the biggest question for most developers is which platform can help me earn the most from my app. AdMob mediation is unique because it helps you maximize ad revenue from almost any demand source around the world. Once you choose from the best performing ad partners to help maximize fill rate and CPMs, AdMob optimizes revenue through a fair competition across networks. AdMob provides in-product support for over 30 major networks and the flexibility to work with over 70 others via custom events. Now that you understand the value of AdMob mediation, let's dive in to find out how it works. AdMob mediation uses a concept called waterfall that prioritizes ad networks based on their eCPM performance. There are three ways CPM value can be determined. One, manual eCPM. Two, historical eCPM. And three, real-time eCPM. Manual eCPM means you input the CPM value when you set up that network. But you need to be careful since the eCPM value you put there won't always reflect the latest performance of that network. For ANO, AdMob will use the network login credentials that you already entered to fetch the historical eCPM data to prioritize the ad networks on geolocation and ad unit level. For each request, all networks will recalculate their eCPM to find the correct positions in the mediation waterfall. The request will go from the top to the bottom of the waterfall until it finds a fill. For the AdMob network, we have our own unique solution called real-time eCPM that lets Google's advertisers provide a bid for every single ad request and Google selects the highest winning bid. This bid is then slotted into the mediation waterfall in the order of the eCPM values for each network. In this example, the AdMob network had a $5 bid for the request. The other waterfall-based networks had eCPM values lower than $5, so the AdMob network's ad was selected to show in the app. For the next impression, let's say the AdMob network bids $2.50. In this case, network D has the highest eCPM value of $4, so that network would be called in the mediation waterfall first. If network D fills, then network D will serve the impression. If network D does not fill, then network A would be called next. If network A does not fill, then the AdMob network would be called next, and the AdMob network ad would serve. Now, let's go through two stories of developers who have achieved success with AdMob mediation. The first story is from MediaSeek, a Japanese app developer that provides utility apps for users. The team was looking for a reliable mediation platform that would provide higher fill rates and revenue. So they tested AdMob mediation in the QR code scanner app, Iconit. The results were impressive. They achieved an almost 100% fill rate, up to two times revenue growth across apps, and a three to five times CPM growth. Yuki Hirai, ads management planner for MediaSeek, noted that out of the many mediation solutions they had tried, from in-house to third party, AdMob mediation was able to give them overwhelmingly higher CPMs, along with better quality ads and support. The second story is from PlayDots, which is a creative company focused on making games everyone can enjoy. They wanted a monetization platform that could deliver high revenue and a global reach, with easy-to-use technology. PlayDots tested mediation in their popular Two Dots game. They observed AdMob's performance in overall revenue, eCPM, and ARPDAO for over 180 days, and compared AdMob to their previous mediation solution. PlayDot saw 28% growth in overall ad revenue, a 110% boost in ad revenue on Android and non-US markets, and 21% growth in ads ARPDAO. Drew McCorder, a product manager from PlayDots, noted that the best thing about AdMob mediation is the confidence we have in the technology. It allows us to focus our efforts on our other business plans. With AdMob, 
We've seen the highest ad revenue boost in the history of Two Dots. We're really excited about the future of this platform. And that's all we have for you on mediation. In summary, if you're looking for an easier way to maximize revenue from multiple ad networks, try AdMob Mediation. To learn more about AdMob Mediation features and how to set them up in your account, check out the tutorial link in the description below. Thank you for watching Google AdMob Tutorials. For more best practices and tips on how you can grow your app further, be sure to subscribe to the Google AdMob channel. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.